Hey everyone, so I, I thought I'd, you know, for a change, I'd say something controversial and discuss a bit of the old Paul today, Dr. Ron Paul that is, um, and it's not the PhD kind, it's the medical doctor, which comes in later when we talk about science. So, you know, do you agree that kids today are stupid, stupid little fucks? You know, don't blame it on TV. Don't blame it on consumer culture. Don't blame it on the hatred of books. Which is, in some part at least, instilled by people who don't make enough money from books. Because they're too hard to market to a target audience. No. Blame it on the Department of Education. Blame it on the federal government. I mean, I know what will fix this private schools and tax credits that's right tax credits and private schools and private education you mean like the pay for opportunity to be educated universities that we have now that are not fixing it that are just throwing parents and students into debt and that are creating scam schools which do nothing but bleed students dry as well as encouraging loan sharks which which give students loans that they cannot repay especially since the economy is tanking but don't worry tax credits right i mean tax credits will give everyone the same opportunity because it's all about equality of opportunity Well, except that if you're in the lower income brackets, those tax credits, they're income tax credits. You're not paying income tax because you're not even making enough money for that. Yeah, you do work a full-time job, but your job just pays too shit to pay income tax. You do pay payroll tax. You do pay sales tax. And of course, every time the government cuts another service, you have to pick up that slack as well. You know, maybe you're just working two part-time jobs, which of course, that means you're lazy because anyone that's anyone has a full-time job. We all know how part-time plus part-time adds up to welfare queen, right? You know, why not just homeschool your kids? don't know what a tangent is that's tangential to the topic at hand after all science is in the eye of the beholder and as ron paul knows evolution is really just a theory like the theory that dr paul that not being a phd is as he describes himself a scientist that's not really a theory Because for that to be a theory, that idea would have to have much bigger science balls. And it has no science balls to stand on whatsoever. That brings us to the topic of some other science. What Dr. Paul likes to call free market environmentalism. Because... If we own the environment like we own our house, we're going to take good care of it, right? That's a great analogy. You know, I mean, I'm going to editorialize slightly, but that's, in fact, why we should own the poor. You know, and the great thing is, since a lot of poor people today are white, it's not even racism anymore. If we own the poor and enslave them, then we'll take good care of them, right? Excellent. But that whole thing's a little bit off topic. Um, No, it's really a very good idea. We just have to sell off all the air, one atmosphere's worth, all the soil down to the Earth's core, every single little scrap of land, a couple of billion cubic liters of seawater, and, you know, just the moon and the sun and the stars while we're at it because someone's going to get out there so you know we might as well get on with it now 
and we all know that people who've owned land that they've put something on they've never polluted it beyond all use have they that's never happened and it's going to be terribly easy to uh, to keep track of who exactly owns how much air and how much they can pollute on that basis that's really the best approach to environmental policy it really is that's going to take care of global warming brilliantly what's dr paul's insight on the death penalty well it's obviously no good when the evil corrupt satanic federal government does it you should leave it to the states i mean obviously states should be able to choose who to fry at will i mean leave it to texas they know how to hang him high because when you're a simplistic ideologue who believes in a mixture of happy bullshit and Ayn Rand, then the idea that just devolving life and death issues from shitty federal government to even shittier state government starts to make a lot of sense. Hey, look at California. They're doing great, aren't they? Are you... What? It's all the uh, supposedly fiscally conservative GOP states that are getting all the federal welfare? Oh, no way. What, you're saying that Ron Paul, in fact, has attached lots of pork barrel spending to bills? That's impossible. He could not possibly have done that. He's completely against that kind of stuff. Now, let's just let Texas zap him as they see him. Food and Drug Administration, that's just holding up all the good signs that brings healing and happiness to millions. What are you saying? What? Advertising can fool people into taking treatments they don't need that make them more sick? Especially when they're already quite sick? That's ridiculous. No, of course. Advertising has never affected a single person. We should just let the market take care of it. What do you mean an individual can't develop a fine-grained enough understanding of medical science to evaluate a certain drug? Market forces are going to fix that just fine. What do you mean we don't want to risk fly-by-night operations selling contaminated food that kills people? That's capitalism, isn't it? Capitalism will weed it out. I'm sure the capital from bad corporations will smell unpleasant. And don't worry, citizen food inspectors will do just fine. We don't need all of that federal stuff. I mean, what What are they going to check for? I'm sure your next bite isn't going to be a mouthful of salmonella. And if you do wind up dying of salmonella... The market will take that into consideration and it'll all turn out very, very well in the end. At least Dr. Paul is non-interventionist. That's that's an excellent thing, right? I mean, we can all agree that the war in Iraq was pretty shit. That was definitely very shit. And, you know, that means that all future involvement in the world is equally atrocious. Complete isolationism is the solution. If we, you know, if we just sat back and uh, let Hitler do his thing, it would have come out for the better. But, you know, that's, I know that's a controversial stance. Some people think that, yeah, we should never intervene militarily. But Dr. Paul's position includes foreign aid. And that's not just the kind that buys guns for dictators it's also the kind that buys medicine because when you're dying of malaria you wouldn't want to be helped by money according to dr paul that was stolen from a billionaire that would just that would just upset you i mean i know it would upset me if i were in my death throes and someone had the medicine there to save me but it was due to theft from someone who obviously had the same opportunities as myself myself 
being born in a very very poor country with no education and that person being born in a very very rich country with amazing education yeah of course i understand that that's complete theft and we should just you know i need to die for the system to work i get this it's very true so do vote for dr paul do vote to kill off public education do vote to give the coup de gras to crumbling public infrastructure do vote to free corporations from pesky regulations do vote to dismiss all that bogus global warming and do vote to be safe in the knowledge that you're entrusting your future to professional creationist scientists and that's not an oxymoron that's totally sensible for me to say and hey maybe young rand can kill off civil rights while he's at it if the aqua buddha doesn't get him first paul apocalypse now my american friends and i don't wish it on you because it's going to be messy for the rest of the world as well i'll see you all later